Now let's check in with Mac. Mac, I got to tell you, when I was driving to work this morning, a little bit chilly uh -huh. out there. Wow, we haven't used that word in a long <laughs> I'm time. I'm using it. Chilly, how about that? It's 62. That's very comfortable out there. Some of you might consider it chilly, <laughs> but uh, that is actually a new record. Uh, we are setting records because of the dry air that was blowing in. Yesterday we had a nice north wind at about 50. No, let's see, right there, 27 miles an hour. So yesterday morning, that was Monday, we had a 64, which is a record. Today, 63 is a new record as well. So these really cool mornings are very nice, considering that we're getting that north wind off the backside of Irma. So the north wind uh, gives us cool mornings, but sunny, warm days. It'll be on the warm side today. Temperatures getting up into the 90s over the next couple of days, but at least the evenings are comfortable. We continue with the coastal flood advisory water up to the dunes again this morning uh, sunrise about 6 a.m. will be high tide and then things will start settling down swamp craft advisories continue but all that should be dropping now that Irma is become a tropical depression where is Irma well like I said we're on the backside getting that comfortable dry air here is Irma now a tropical depression falling apart as a storm but still raining over much of the southeastern states for the record book, uh, Naples, Florida came in at 142 miles an hour. Um, and of course, on the other side of the eye of the peninsula, 99 miles an hour was a peak wind at Miami International Airport. So this uh, comes down, Irma comes down as bigger than Andrew because Andrew was isolated down in deep south Florida. Uh, Irma was the entire state, can you believe it? Well, there are the coordinates as it continues dropping. Uh, at 11 p.m. last night, we're looking at down to 35 miles an hour, just to the north of Columbus, Georgia. We also have, of course, Jose. Jose is right about there. Uh, Jose is kind of a weird problem, but it doesn't look like it's going to affect uh, the uh, South Florida. It's going to do a loop and then come back around and then go to the north, probably skirting off the coast of the Carolinas, but uh, we can say that it's not going to be hitting uh, Florida. I'll tell you why. Here is Irma. Irma continues going to the northeast. Then we see right about there the development of the, the L right there would be Jose. But it's going in between these two ridges of high pressure skirting to the north. So hopefully we can say goodbye to Jose and not have a major landfall. Slowly but surely, Irma continues moving away. We've got that north wind for at least a couple more days. Then we start seeing that Gulf air rolling back in. That's going to give us lots of sun and a return of the humidity by the time we get to the weekend. So enjoy the dry weather. Temperatures getting into the 90s today and then a little bit of a rain chance as we get uh, to the Gulf air returning sometime this coming weekend.